Hello darlings, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, we have made a grand return and it is grand because I've only got to found Gucci, yeah Gucci, and Kat Von D and Anastasia Beverly Hills all in TK Maxx. Let's just jump right in. So first of all, I want to start by saying I'm so glad to be back. Ultimately, that is the first thing I want to say. Um, I had a quick break to kind of like recharge myself like creatively. And I did kind of go through a bit of a rough patch, hence why we have got a Britney vibe going on now. Uh, next thing you know, I'll be the one having a conservatorship against me. God, Lord have mercy. But I'm back. I'm feeling ready to show you so we can sit here and chat and have a little relax together, chat with the girls and just have a little look what we got. So let's jump right in with our TK Maxx finds and I am absolutely shook. I actually spoke to a friend called Endy who works in the hairdressers that I go to where I've just got my head shaved by Siobhan, my main girl. Um, and she was saying she found nothing. Well, I'm sorry, Endy, if you're watching this, but I've only gone and outdone you, girl. So I have found this highlight palette by Lime Crying called Angels. It's this really nice kind of high, like high, like iridescent vibe. And it has these really beautiful, gorgeous shades you can see there. So they are very much like glitteries. If you like glitter, this isn't the one for you. I'm just gonna get all the shades on my fingers here. So here are the three shades. They're very sparkly, very gorgeous, very shimmery. You kind of have like a clear one, a pink one, and like a bluey kind of undertone one. That's so cute. And I picked that up for 3 dollars supposed to be 35 pounds. Don't know if you can see that. Moving on. The next thing I've got, which was also Lime Crime, is this Diamond Crushers by Lime Crime. I picked this one up for 3 dollars it's supposed to be £18 as well. It's this really gorgeous, kind of like shiny, like diamond effect kind of bottle. You can't really see because of the sun. And it's like, it's like gold, kind of like shimmer effect, like this. I'm not sure whether you do this for your... Uh, wow. For your eyelids or not. I haven't swatched any of these, I just picked them up because I'm impulsive like that. Can you see it's kind of like this golden, really beautiful highlight in the sun? Let's see if I can get it to focus. Will it focus? There you go, it's really gorgeous, kind of like golden glow. This might look really cute on your eyes, potentially. I don't know, it's absolutely gorgeous. So I love that so much. Um, moving on now to Kat Von D. Actually, let's get Anastasia Beverly Hills out of the way because the rest of it's Kat Von D after that. So I've actually picked up a few of these in TK Maxx recently. I've got the shade Tawny and Mahogany. Um, and this is kind of like the go-between shade which is called Rich Amber. So this I picked up for £12.99. It's supposed to be £25, so an absolute bargain. So now I've got all three for the price of one, near enough, so I can't complain. Of course it has the gorgeous, absolutely classic Anastasia Beverly Hills packaging which has the emblems embroidered in, absolutely gorgeous. When you open her up, Oh, someone's actually swatched this. That's frustrating, but girl, I'm a budget bitch, so I would do the same thing, so I can't hate. So yeah, I've just already swatched really nice bronze effect here. I'm gonna go in with my little finger and pick it up. It actually has like a, like a glittery undertone to it. You might have just seen when I was just holding up to the camera then. Um, so this is this shade here, really nice brown. I'm gonna put it right there against the side of my hand. You see it? really nice i'm kind of like scared to do makeup now because this is my first like literally like day of having a bald head so i'm really not sure how we're gonna like approach this i'm gonna have to kind of like bronze carefully i'm a little bit worried now i'm gonna have to go subtle subtle in i i can't go boom like straight in there so she will be watching a few like bald boy makeup looks later on at home because i need them and the next thing i got do you know what do you ever find something and buy it for the sake of it? I don't really need it. Um, I didn't really want it because I've already got a shitload of pink lipsticks. But anyway, moving forward. I picked up this Gucci number. I mean, girl, is Gucci. What a flex. So this is the Gucci lipstick I picked up. And I bought this for £17.99. And it's supposed to be £35. I mean, come on. You can't say no. Even if I don't wear it, it's cute. So it comes in this really nice, heavy gold embroidered packaging is absolutely gorgeous absolutely beautiful it has gucci embroidered on the top there you can't really see because of the sun so it's like this here absolutely dazzling darling when you open her up it's a really nice pink not swatch it has gucci embroidered into the lipstick here which you can probably just about see you know what doing this in the summer is a really bad idea so yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. Will I use it? Probably not. It's just more of a flex really, isn't it? Because I can't afford anything else Gucci, so I may as well buy a TK Maxx lipstick. Moving forward, 
now we're getting into Kat Von D. So I've never owned anything Kat Von D before. So I'm actually really excited to have this in my collection now to try it. Because Kat Von D was very much out of my price range for what I can comfortably afford. So it's so exciting to be able to have this in my collection. Um, but the first thing I've got, which is most exciting, is the Kat Von D foundation, I know. So I picked this up for $7.99, and it's supposed to be £29. I mean, come on. I mean, it's been tried, it's been tested, but it's this kind of pump bottle here. This Kat Von D pump bottle, I think the packaging is amazing. Like, although I've never tried Kat Von D, I've always admired the packaging. She is gorgeous. Should we give her a try? Because I've not actually tried this. Okay, so we're looking a bit bubbly and expired the house. I'm not gonna lie to you, but that's fine. We move. She is very, very runny, very runny. But do you know what? Actually matches up so nicely. You can't even see. You see where this like shine is here? That's the foundation that I've put on. I'm just rubbing it in. I mean, it will be highlighted because I've just put my highlighted fingers on it. But it matches really nice. I think I've done really well to get that. So I'm actually quite excited to try that because to be honest, once it's used stuff, I can't really afford to replace it. It's out of my price range, girl. But it's nice to have and nice to say I've used it. So that I'm so excited about. The next thing we've picked up is two lip liners. So both of these actually retail for $6.99, um, originally $14.50. So absolutely gorgeous. One is called Scully and one is in the shade Crucifix. Cute. I mean, it's always a vibe when you're gay. Love that. So we have here this gorgeous, 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 like boring looking pencil compared to the rest of the products. It is like embroidered here with that kind of like typical calli calligraphic, whatever you call it, that thing with that. When you open her up, this is the shade Scully. So it's basically just black, like just to give you the long and short of it. It's just a really deep black shade here for going around, around your lips with. So I'm so excited about that. That'd be really cute to try. I have got one black lipstick. I need to buy more really. I've only got one like, NYX one and it's expired the house. So you have to put it on and put like black eyeshadow over the top and then put gloss on top just to make it look actually relatively healthy. Cute. And then the next shade we got is a shade Crucifix, which again, it's probably gonna bring me bad luck because it's not in favor of my choice of life as some would argue, which I definitely disagree with, just to clarify. It is a brown one. This is a brown lip liner. It gives me very much Faye from Love Island 2021 vibes. And I was a Faye fan, I've got to be honest. I didn't agree with the meltdown, but I was a Faye fan. But when you draw her on, she's this really nice, like deep, maybe borderline, like purple-esque kind of like brown shade. Absolutely beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. So creamy, can't complain for $6.99. Like, that is actually a relatively fair price. And the last thing we bought, which I'm so excited about because I've always wanted one of these, I have got a blush in the shade Poppy. And this cost me $7.99 again. It originally was £22 for this gorgeous product. I'm so flipping excited to try it. Do you like that? We're trying a new no swearing approach because some people get a bit sensitive. But when you open her up, she has this gorgeous rose packaging here. So nice. You know, when I see Kat Von D, oh God, she has busted the house. Let me give her a clean. I always think of my friend Siobhan. Like, she's like the typical, like, sexy tattoo girl that everyone wants to be with. But unfortunately, she's married. She's one of them. So she is absolutely gorgeous. And every time I look at, like, Kat Von D products, it really reminds me of her. Because this is kind of, like, very much her taste. Um, but I don't think she actually uses Kat Von D. I don't know, bad friend. But it's this really nice, as you'd imagine, but a shade poppy, red color. It goes with the interior of my car so nicely if I was to match it up, gorgeous. So yeah, I'm kind of living. I think for all of that, I must have spent 70 pounds and we are talking hundreds of pounds. I'll put the thing up on screen here, how much it would have actually cost to buy all of it brand new and how much I actually spent. Cause she would be shook if she knew. Mm-hmm. So I'm buzzing with that. So that is basically my find. Should we move you closer so you can actually see me because I feel like you've really missed me. So I just wanna say thank you very much for, if you are still here from originally with a big old new bald head um, for sticking around and watching this video. Any love and support you can give, I'd be so grateful. Let me know what you found in Tico Max recently. It'd be amazing to know um, if you found any other good juicy, juicy things. Um, these are like really good finds for Bedford because I heard apparently they do it based on prices in the area, like average incomes. Love that. Love how they know we're all poor. <laughs> Dangling a bit of Gucci in our hands. But yeah, love it. 
thank you so much please comment down below so yeah ciao ciao it's been a pleasure bye